All right, guys, so we are here checking out the new Accelerate Yellow Z06. And man, I can't tell you how much I love this color and this car, but you can see how much wider it is. Just look at the edge here. See how it kicks out right here? That thing is definitely wider than a, stand, a standard Stingray. And I love the di dive planes because of the Z06, all carbon fiber, front splitter. But this thing is a beast to look at that wide vent. So Aventador-esque in my opinion. Look at all of that in there, it's so huge. Look at that back end. All this carbon fiber in the front here, in the interior. Check this out. And it's, look at that, yellow seat belts, just like I put in my Z06. This is so reminiscent of mine, obviously much more of this gloss carbon fiber than anything I have, but Alcantara on the steering wheel. Love the yellow line on the steering wheel, but all of this yellow stitching and yellow seat belts. I'll be honest with you, I feel like this is so similar to my Z06. So I wanna do that continuation. But I do love the wishbone. I think the wishbone looks much better than the kind of boomerang on the Stingray. But I love this carbon fiber wheels. These are in part a group effort with Carbon Rev helped design these. And if any of you guys are fans of Koenigsegg, the new Jesco has a very similar wing. But one of the biggest changes on the back that I really like is look at the vent here. This vent on the Stingray is much shorter and I just feel like it doesn't flow with the car as well as this does. It kind of matches up better with the tail lights. And the other thing is you have a vent right here on the edge, much like the C7. And of course we have the quad tip rear center mount exhaust looking so good. I know a lot of people were not as fans with the, the different exhaust that they put on the Stingray with this quad tip on each side, dual tips on each side. But let's flip this open and look underneath. So they have the roof stowed right here and all of the carbon fiber on the engine bay. So I'm gonna tell you, if you're sitting outside and you hear the Ferrari run by, this flat plane crank might actually be the car that you're hearing as opposed to the Ferrari, but I am a huge fan of every bit of this car. I was slightly underwhelmed when the C8 Stingray came out. It just didn't really check all the boxes for me, but this thing is magnificent. There's really nothing about this car that I would change whatsoever other than the fact that I don't own it yet. But what do you guys think about Accelerate Yellow? To me, it's much different on the Z06 than it is on the Stingray. All that color contrast. Man, this thing is truly a work of art. GM knocked it out of the park with this.
All right, guys, so Justin and I are about to head out of here, but I was gonna show you, this is a, an Accelerate Yellow C8, as you've seen on my channel many times, and the Hypersonic Gray C8R Edition, which I did a video on that one not too long ago. So a lot of you have already seen that one. But on the Z06, I definitely am doing Accelerate Yellow, but out of the C8 on the Stingray, between Accelerate Yellow and Hypersonic Gray, Man, that's a tough one. I still think I would lean towards hypersonic gray just because it's different. And I loved my old Grand Sport that was Watkins Glen Gray, but this one is pretty nice. And I love the yellow seatbelts, sky cool gray on the interior and black. It's definitely sweet. So just for comparison's sake, here is the C8R in Accelerate Yellow with the painted nacelles, which I don't think I would have done, honestly. I don't think I would have painted the nacelles I guess it doesn't look too bad without the painted roof. But it seemed like a little out of place to me, but I like it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to be negative. But it's a good looking car regardless. But this is the C8R in Accelerate Yellow. So it gives you a little bit of a comparison there. But I will tell you, I think this car in Accelerate Yellow looks incredible on the Z06. You've definitely got to check it out in person, but we're getting ready to go eat. Justin hasn't eaten all day, so I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Have a great week.